This has been a rough week for the Brazilian government. Under orders of the Supreme Court, the Senate has set up a hearings committee to investigate the government's handling of the pandemic. Allies of President Jair Bolsonaro fear that the probe could get out ahead and risk laying grounds for a future impeachment. Hi, my name is Caroline Coutinho and I am social media journalist for the Brazilian Report and this is what you need to know about Brazil this week. Congressional hearings committees are usually bad news for sitting governments, but they rarely produce important results. Rather, they're more like theater, used to impress voters and shame public officials. The risk comes when the government fails to control the committee's most important positions, chairperson and the reporter. That's because the chair is the one that is scheduling scenes, approving requests, and granting lawmakers speaking time. If sessions are held remotely, like it is the case during the COVID-19 pandemic, the chair holds even more power as it simply needs to mute a member's mics to shut them up. Meanwhile, the reporter writes the final paper, which can lead to further investigations, indictments and arrests. Over the past few decades, governments have excelled in controlling the committee's most destructive impacts. The biggest exception is President Fernando Collor in the 90s. That's because he was elected in an anti-establishment platform, which made it hard for him to find coalitions in Congress, which is very similar to what is happening with Jair Bolsonaro today. That's why government allies fear that the COVID-19 hearings could lay some groundwork for Jair Bolsonaro future impeachment. And that's why next week will be a pivotal moment for Brazilian politics. You can follow this and other stories unfold at the Brazilian.report.